this is a new generation of product. Yes, this is the world's first secure touchscreen. It's a very painful stage. None of us were certain if this product would come to market. Well, we've been in Asia for the past two weeks, visiting all of the suppliers it takes to make the ledger stacks real. And this is a very important trip because this is the trip where we do one last final check. So that guy is able to actually uh, align it exactly where we want it. And then we'll use this machine to fully seal the back cover with the pressure. It's amazing, precision work. Ledger Stacks is a very complex puzzle. It's a very complex industrial puzzle. How many tests per devices? Yeah, yeah 220. Touch, Qi, NFC, charging power. All the high level functions. Oh, no. exactly. Is Ledger Stacks a milestone for Ledger and crypto user? I think yes. It's definitely a milestone for Ledger. We are making crypto always secure, but this time, much easier to use. Look, this device definitely wouldn't exist without Tony. I'm proud to announce to you today, Ledger Stacks. Tony did choose a very challenging path on this by choosing a display that had never been done before. Can we make a credit card size device that can hold all your digital assets on different versions of stacks. Can that credit card size really work? Wouldn't it be fun if they could interact in some way? How can we tell what's on the device? Very quickly to take it so we know that we're grabbing the right thing of value. How can we make sure that you can know it's yours without having to use battery all the time? And that's where I came up with the idea for um, stacks. And he said, so it's going to be an e-ink display, but the display curves all the way around the edge. And, and then you can like read what's on the spine. If Ledger alone had built this device, then it would not be this beautiful. If Tony alone had built this device, it would not be this secure. What we really wanted to do uh, with Stax was uh, to keep the same level of security that we have on all our devices while improving the UX. As a user, when you sign a transaction, you want to be able to verify what you are consenting. And this is really why we are using a secure touchscreen. And this touchscreen is directly connected to the secure element. This is the world first secure touchscreen. When you design with innovation in mind, you take risks. No one has ever done an e-ink curve screen that is a touched secure screen. So there are a lot of world firsts uh, in this product. And when you try to do world first and when you try to be very innovative, there are a lot of uh, hidden stones that you don't see on the world on which you can trip. And uh, this screen was a big stone that we tripped on. Ouais, c'est super précis, c'est précalibré, tu le vois là. Il a des petites marques pour se retrouver à chaque fois. And for a long time, we didn't even know uh, if it was possible. For every 100 of these, you know, that they attempted to make, at the beginning, only two would be good. Incoming quality control has been our most challenging part. And then that number would go up and up and up and up over time. So this all started six weeks ago. That's right. And then we in finally, Taiwan. That's right. And this is the first time you can test. Yes. Does the screen work? Does it work or does Six it not Six weeks work? later, okay. I think in the case of choosing an organic TFT for Ledger Stacks, you know, we were about a year ahead. You know, we announced this product in December of 2022. We thought we were going to be launching it in March of 23. And now here we are shipping it to customers in May and June of 2024. And it's only because the team showed a lot of resilience and everyone showed a lot of patience that we are where we are. You see how thin that is? Mm -hmm. That's uh, very tricky. Here you go. Very carefully remove it. 
I also have in mind our partners. If the partners hadn't believed in this, we wouldn't have been able to do it without the partners who are willing to invest in the front of that process and to actually you know, lose some of the output so that they could ultimately get to the good output. Without them believing in, in the technology and the long-term viability of the technology and our product as being a path to this technology being used in you know, ultimately tens of thousands of different products, then this product wouldn't exist. So it's a very painful stage, uh, the two years ago or uh, one, one year ago. But uh, uh, because of confidence about uh, technology itself, because of uh, confidence about the product you designed itself, the first moment I see your product, it's, it's really amazing me, uh, actually. Oh, uh, to you. be honest, it's a very amazing product. So I do think it's a bright future. To be honest, like when these things ship to customers, I, I will probably spend the evening crying. I think it's gonna be a proud moment for Ledger. Uh, I think it's gonna be a proud moment for everyone that is a customer at Ledger. And I think it's gonna be a proud moment for the crypto industry. And the magic happens. This is the production quality of stacks uh, that you have in your hands. That's wonderful. It feels good. Amazing. Were you finally stubborn to keep on going or more resilient? I think that, you know, the difference between resilient and stubborn is kind of in the results, right? If, if you keep doing the same thing uh, and fail repeatedly and never find the end of the tunnel, then I think you're just stubborn. But if you keep improving, even if those improvements are small in the beginning, but you know, in the end you go from sort of 2% output to 80% output, then I think you're just resilient. Guys, I want to talk about this uh, other, uh, you know, project. And uh, what's happening, Cyril, can you please, no, you cannot be here, sir, please move away. This is not acceptable. <laughs>